Hey everybody, welcome to the Lately Great. Horror Show. We got another tag video. This one was done by Sean Urshan. Link below. Uh, go check out his tag video. But this is the uh, Hammer Horror or Hammer Dracula mm -hmm. tag. Right. So this is a little bit more specific. And I am going to defer this one to Ted. It's the Ted show now. Yes, this it's all the Ted today. Do not so adjust so, your, your, no, your television. No, no, I will interject if I can, but I just am not. I wouldn't even attempt this because I, I wouldn't be doing it justice. I need to know a little bit more on these Hammer films and stuff and see a little bit more before mm. I can actually put my two cents in there. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say, hey, this is my answer if I don't know it. So oh, I stay true to myself, and I know Ted. And this is my bread and butter. Yes. So so we will just get right off and go into it. And, right. and so cool. Yeah. So question number one mm -hmm. is: What is your favorite Hammer Dracula film? I would have. I do got one. Brides of uh, what is it? Dra Brides, Brides of Dracula. Dracula. Yeah. Now see, I would have picked that one, but it doesn't actually have Dracula in it. Right. So I tried to stay Christopher with, Lee with the with the movie that has Dracula in. Although I will say Brides of Dracula in the series is my favorite. Right. Okay. But um, I will say Dracula, Prince of Darkness, which we've done a uh, yes commentary, commentary on. Yeah. yeah. Um, Good movie. He yeah. Has no dialogue. He plays so there's more my answer. A, if he believes <laughs> that, and he's the you know, so yeah. He's more of a, a monster in this one. It's got some some good sets and, and everything. I it's. Uh, one of my favorite kills is in it. It's just, I love it. I, yeah. I love Dracula, Prince of Darkness. And it's coming out on a beautiful Blu-ray from Screen Factory mm. in time for Christmas. Evidently, Screen Factory yeah. got access to a lot of Hammer films directly from Hammer. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of fans are hoping for some of those original classics that we don't have yet here in the yeah. States. So, But be on the lookout for Dracula, Prince of Darkness, coming from Screen Factory. Was that the one where he, he hung her up? Above the camera. Okay, so I spoil one of my oh, answers. Oh, shoot, okay, okay, okay. So now on to question number two. <laughs> Boom. Okay, um, question number two. Uh, the first sequel, mm -hmm. Brides of Dracula, and we were just saying that, did not star Christopher Lee, but but is considered one of the finest Hammer films. Mm -hmm. Would you have cast Lee in the film? Or is it fine the way it is? It's always great to see Christopher Lee in the right. I but was going to say, yeah. Brides of Dracula is such a great movie. I can't really imagine changing Why it. Why change it? Yeah. And I do like the... the they easily could have put Christopher Lee there if they right, wanted right. to. Yeah. But instead, they, I like how they showed how you know, Dracula, it's almost a cult amongst the aristocracy. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I like to see the, the, how it affected all the... You know, Rich people, you know, in, in the Carpathians or wherever they're at, in, yeah, yeah. in those in those countries, and um, I don't think I would change it. I think it, it's a great story the way it is. So, okay, cool. Yeah, um, that's what I figured. I don't. It's just a great story, yeah. so I wouldn't change it. Good, good answer. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, on to question number three. Uh, Dracula dies in every film in the franchise. What is your favorite Dracula death? My favorite one would be Dracula Has Risen from the Grave. The film starts with a priest going up to Castle Dracula and he's got a big cross on his back. And he yeah. puts the cross in the doors. Right. So, you know, Dracula can't, cross, can't cross the threshold there. Yeah. Later in the film, mm -hmm. that cross gets thrown over the parapet there by the castle <laughs> and goes phew, into the ground. And then in the ensuing oh, struggle... Oh, like a dagger? Yeah, like, the cross, like yeah, straight yeah, up, yeah. like cross sticking in the ground. Wow. And then... As the struggle goes on, Dracula is thrown over mm -hmm. and gets impaled on that cross. Ooh, okay. And that's my favorite. One I haven't seen. So. Yes. Yeah. And then um, cool. the next yeah. film okay. picks up right where that leaves off. Uh, so, that, okay. so that's kind of cool too. So. Cool. So that's that's my favorite Dracula death scene. And I'll say that sounds good. So right. yeah, I go with you there. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good good choice. All um, right. Okay, cool. So question number four. In Dracula, Prince of Darkness, mm -hmm. Christopher Lee has no dialogue. It's true. Do you think the film would have been better if uh, if he had lines, or is it fine the way it is? Well, of course he's got a great speaking voice, so it would always be cool to hear him speak. Yeah. But from all accounts, mm -hmm. Dracula, Prince of Darkness had some pretty silly dialogue in it. 
And mm-hmm. there, there were several years in between Horror of Dracula and when Christopher Lee reprised the role in Dracula, Prince of Darkness, something like six, seven years. Yes. Maybe. And by that time, he had risen in stature in Hammer films. And if he didn't like what he was given, he didn't have to do it. So he said, I'm not going to read these lines. And they right. took those lines out. And I remember he you just saying that. played the character as a monster. And I always like to envision maybe when he came back to life, maybe he's just because he hadn't had blood and so on. Maybe he's just a crazed monster. <laughs> maybe that's why he's acting the way he does. Mm. Uh, but, you know, in this way, instead of speaking, he emotes more. You know, it's facial expressions and things like that. Yeah. I don't know if dialogue would have made it any better. It's a pretty good movie as is. I'd be curious to know what the dialogue was that he didn't like. But, um, hmm. I, I can't say for certain if I think it would be better. I like it the way it is. Okay. But I no, I wouldn't mind that. knowing what was supposed to be there and what he didn't like. There. By the way, I like the Late Late Horror Show uh, t-shirt That's you right. got on there. That's right, our official That's merch. Right. Yeah. Well, well, i got to get a store. <laughs> you know, anyway. Got no store. <laughs> right now, it's, uh, you know. It's on Ted. Right now, <laughs> I, I have the only one. <laughs> but uh, you okay. could have one if you want. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a store. Up there. Anyways, um, if you want, I'll sign a mug, you know, when you're drinking your coffee. Question number five. Mm-hmm. What is your favorite Van Helsing moment in the franchise? Oh, easy, easy. It'd probably be the same. For, well, I don't know yeah. what you're saying. In Brides of Dracula, where he turns mm. the windmill yes. to mm. form a cross, the shadow of a cross on the ground right. for Baron, uh, Meister, Meister, was it Meinster? Mein, mm-hmm. Meinster, I believe it was. Baron I have it written there. Yes. I, I think that was ingenious. And no, no, I any love other, that scene. Any, yeah, I don't yeah. think any other film's ever done it. And... A great use of imagery mm-hmm. and, 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 and subtext there with the, the cross and stuff in the shadows. Yeah, yeah. That was, no, that was awesome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, perfect, man. No other movies done anything like that. No, I love that. Cool. Okay, question number six: Who is your favorite actor, actress, aside from Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing, in the franchise? Oh, well, Taste the Blood of Dracula is uh, my my honey, Linda Hayden. Yeah, okay. okay. And who I just, she's so beautiful. I was going to say, who's the, um... Who's the hottie in that movie? Who's the, who's the hottie in, no, not Twins of uh, Evil. Oh, oh, uh, in, Ingrid Pitt? From, no, what was, Vampire the, what was or? the other one? We, oh, Vampire, Vampire what, what was the, the other movie we watched? Twins of Evil? Twins of Evil. With the twin? With the, yeah, the one where she was on the bed. She was the, the blonde haired long... Can't remember, guys. Right. Forget about it. But anyway, but anyway, I, I don't usually go. go for blondes. I usually like dark hair. But Linda Hayden, I would make an exception for. And uh, she's. I, I can't remember the. Yeah, which one? So it's my favorite. It? Okay, there you go. My okay. Favorite. Cool. My favorite Hammer girl. I, I'd say yeah. In, in both those movies, a lot of nice chicks. In there. Well, that was what they're known for. Anyway, okay. Uh, so question number seven: What is your favorite Dracula kill in the franchise? Well, you were starting to talk about it, and I don't know if it officially counts because it's not Dracula doing the killing, but Ooh. in Dracula, Prince of Darkness, yeah. when his butler, Clove, uh, takes... It's, it's not uh, one of the women's, it's, it's the character named Alan, yeah. and you know, hangs him upside down over the sarcophagus with Dracula's ashes, slits his throat, yes. and just lets the blood run in there, and which ends up re- 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 regenerating Dracula. Yes. Uh, That's it's not, what I was saying earlier. It's not Dracula doing the killing, right? but it is in benefit of Dracula. And, you know, I mean, you can bite a million necks, but there's no scene in any of the films that's like that. Right. And yeah, I'm, yeah. I love it. It's one of the reasons why I love the movie. It's just that. Oh, no, that know. was good. That's why Again, we it's just that something that's it. not in any other movie. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> so if if you will accept it and <coughs> it counts, that would be my favorite Dracula <coughs> Uh, oh my kill. god! I think that's the first Ooh. video we ever did where I went off in sneezing mode. Yeah, you know, you get a sneezing fit sometimes. Oh my lord! Holy moly! Anyway, yeah, okay, so there we go. So yeah, uh, not technically a Dracula kill, but uh, I see where you veered off. I mean, it was are. for his benefit. Right, so. right. Yeah, no, I got you. That's good. Uh, number eight. Mm-hmm. What is the worst Hammer Dracula film? Oh, there's a few that'll usually top mm-hmm. the list. There's, mm-hmm. AD 1972, there's Satanic Rites of Dracula, Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires. Yet, if any of those three come out on Blu-ray in the States, I'm You'll buying them, yeah, of course, because yeah. right. I don't hate them. Mm. Um, I think I would probably go with 
Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires. Even though I don't hate it, but okay. this was a... If you a, had to pick a word. This movie. was a film done in conjunction between Hammer and if you know who the Shaw Brothers are, yeah. they did all the Kung Fu movies in, in right, the 70s. Right. And this is sort of like a Dracula Kung Fu kind of movie. Yeah. And it takes place in, in China and, and they're going... They're, That's cool. And uh, it's not Christopher Lee playing Dracula. It's the only time that Dracula is played by a different actor. But it has Peter Cushing in it. Mm -hmm. He's kind of just there. Um, <laughs> right. But it's just such an odd movie, you know. You'll have a kung fu fight, and then yeah. you know, going after some vampires, and uh, there's some cool things about it. It's very which led you to some some vampire or then Chinese want, or right. Japanese? Then, then you want to check out some vampire Shaw Brothers flicks? movies, yeah. Yeah, yeah? Or the Japanese vampire flicks that, yeah, I, yeah. that I absolutely love. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Toho ones, the three. Right. Um, and you're telling me to watch them, so I you have know, you watched them yet? I haven't. Oh, yeah. you gotta watch them. Okay. So. I'll, I'll just pick Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires just because okay. it's such an odd one. Okay. And, it, you know, there's nothing gothic about it at all, really. But I don't hate it. Okay. So. Well, good enough answer. <laughs> you, you're worse one. Okay. So question number nine, last one. What is your favorite Dracula moment in the franchise? Wow. Um, I'd probably go back to question seven and uh, pick that... Uh, um, the scene where Alan's being sacrificed, you know, his throat slit and over, okay. over Dracula's actually. No, that's an awesome I don't scene. mean to use the same one again, but... Well, well how about the scene with uh, Peter Cushing and, and Christopher Lee when they get in a fight and he pulls yeah. back the thing, he is the, uh, you know, the, the use of uh, special effects oh, he's using, they like, use. the candlesticks as the cross. Or... Yeah, and the, the special effects where, where he just, like, you know, mm -hmm. crumbles down into ash. I, I love that, yeah. and I wish, I'm, hope, I'm hopeful that when that's released that's in cool. the States... Yeah. Because they have it in England already. Um, there was seconds cut from that, a little bit more graphic. Yeah, yeah, you were saying. So yeah. it, it's not night and day, but I mean, more is more. And I'd like to have it the way it was supposed to have been. Cool. So, um, but between those two scenes, I think so. And I believe there is a tenth question. You got you scroll oh, up Oh, I'm sorry. A yeah, yeah, there's ten questions. Um, so yes. number ten, question number ten. I was going to say, because I got another answer. I know, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I screenshot the, the um, oh, question. Okay. So, uh, question number 10. In Dracula AD 1972, oh, yes. they brought Dracula into the modern age. Do you think that that was the right choice? If not, what would you have done differently? Well, it's not the greatest. Even though it's got Carolyn Monroe in it, which is one of my yeah. next favorite family girls. She's also a Bond girl. And, yeah. and a bunch of movies I like as a kid. All right. But, yeah. uh, oh. Oh, it starts off yeah. with Van Helsing and and Christopher Lee fighting each other on top of a carriage that's going through the woods. It starts off gothic, yeah, and then it ends up you know, in <laughs> 1972. But see, at that at that time, you know, horror films were were changing, you know, and Hammer was just trying to keep up. That's when they started adding a little bit more TNA into their films and things right, like that, right, right. and the more erotic things in there. Mm. Um, so, I mean, they did what they thought they had to do. They thought there wasn't a market for those gothic horrors anymore. Mm. Um, I mean, I would have just been perfectly happy having another gothic horror film, you know, with Peter Cushing and, and Christopher Lee's story is not super important, okay. you know. Mm. I, I'd have been happy with another one. Um, Probably agree with you. So, yeah. I, I'm not going to say it was a right decision, wrong decision. Mm. They did what they thought they had to do to try to make, you know, they had these Same great characters movie. and this stock of great actors and all this cool shit. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to do something with it and we got to start making money. Yeah. You know, so they did what they thought they had to do. I don't think it really worked out for them. Okay. Um, the same thing like with Satanic Rites of Drek. It also takes place in modern times as well. But, um, but again, those are the ones that are considered not as good. So, you know, looking back now, it's it should have stuck with the formula that works. And I still think Hammer should do that to this day. You know, I, I agree with you. Put man. out a couple of big ones that might make some money, and then use that money to make something that you know the hardcore fans would really like. Yeah. I don't care if it's direct to video or theater, theatrical or whatever. I'd love to see the old school gothic style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I, I agree with you one hundred percent. There we go. So there you go. Yeah, the the Hammer Horror or Hammer Dracula mm -hmm. tag. Let me get that right. It started by Sean Urshan. Uh, links Thank below. So, good yeah. questions. Yeah, good, good questions, questions uh, especially for our Hammer Horror fans. Right. Which I'm getting into there. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, the, this was the Ted Show. Hey. So there you go. And if I could recommend some films to anybody watching. Sure. It just came out yeah. from Arrow Video. Okay. 
called the Bloodthirsty Trilogy. These are the Japanese um, gothic horror films that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, they did three of them. Okay. They are very hammer-esque, although all three of them take place in what would be modern times, which would be like the 70s. Mm -hmm. But uh, they are gothic. They're unique in that Japanese vampire. They didn't really do these kinds of movies. There's these right. three. And... Um, I used to watch them as a kid on Saturday afternoon TV, and mm -hmm. I could never... We, I, I think since the beginning of our show, I talked about mm -hmm. these Japanese vampire movies. I don't remember the names, and now I own them, and I have right. them, and yeah. now I know their names. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I could... It's uh, The Vampire Doll, Lake of Dracula, and Evil of Dracula. Yeah. All really cool movies if you can come across them. Cool. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. awesome, man. Yeah, you, even, yeah. If you're a Hammer fan, you will probably dig these. Okay, cool. Yeah, I know. I know. I've got them now, and and I gotta watch them. So. Right. So yeah, we'll see. What yeah. It, yeah. The average person, yeah. maybe not, but if you're a Hammer fan and you like that style, you will very likely dig these movies. Cool. There you go. Another tag in the book. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So this is what was the Hammer Dracula tag. Check out links below. If you're on iTunes, come on over to YouTube. If you're on YouTube, go over to iTunes. Search in the Late Late Horror Show. Get a subscribe. You can listen to everything we do. We're on Patreon. You can go over there. Uh, eventually, I'll start posting extra stuff there. But uh, we should do a separate video for that just to let people know about that eventually. Right. There. But uh, anyways, till next time, you guys. Uh, we will see you later. Uh, late, late horror show. Peace out.